Hey guys, Ben here from Generation Tech. Today we want to ask you who would win, a Star Wars X-Wing or the US Air Force's F-35? Well, at first glance you might say the X-Wing, but the answer isn't as straightforward. So, first things first, the X-Wing has to be in an environment where it can engage the F-35. The F-35, being a plane rather than a starship, can only fly within the atmosphere of an Earth-like planet. So, here comes the first aspect in which the F-35 beats the X-Wing. Although the X-Wing is capable of light speed in space, the speed it can achieve within an atmosphere is only 777 miles per hour. That's only slightly above the speed of sound. The F-35, meanwhile, can travel at Mark 1.6 or 1200 miles per hour. So there is no way the X-Wing could outrun the F-35 within an atmosphere. So what about weapons? Couldn't the X-Wing wait at the edge of space and shoot the F-35 with long-range weapons? Well, the X-Wing's proton torpedoes have a very short range. This book states that the MG-7A torpedoes that Luke fired at the Death Star in A New Hope have a range of only 600 meters. Not cannon, I know, but it's all we have to go on. Then what about the X-Wing's laser cannons? Well, these do actually have a maximum range of 80 kilometers or 50 miles. But remember, the F-35 has the element of stealth. From far away, it may not be that easy to detect. And remember how crappy the X-Wing's targeting computer is, like something out of the 80s. Luke had to rely on the Force to destroy the Death Star. Use the Force, Luke. Luke, you switched off your targeting computer. What's wrong? But if the X-Wing got close and used its laser cannons, it could probably destroy the F-35 in one shot. Here's what a laser cannon operated by the US military does to a drone when fired. But since the F-35 is faster than the X-Wing, it could probably keep its distance. And the F-35 actually has some longer range weapons than the X-Wing. The AMRAAM, for example, is a medium range air-to-air -air missile with a range of 160 kilometers or 100 miles. The F-35 could keep out of range of the X-Wing's weapons and fire this, probably hitting the X-Wing since it doesn't look that stealthy. The F-35's targeting systems are some of the best on the planet. The pilot can use his custom-designed helmet to see through the plane, but, and this is the point that could render all of the F-35's capabilities useless, the X-Wing has a shield, so even if it was hit, our 21st century Earth weapons may not have much of an effect. But then again they might, we don't know how powerful this shield is. Let's say it could withstand two direct hits by the F-35's air-to-air -air missiles. Well, the F-35 has space for four of these missiles in its internal weapons base, but that's just a guess. So there you go guys, it's hard to be conclusive, but we can confirm that this would be in no way an easy kill for the X-Wing, and whether or not the F-35 could win all depends on the strength of the X-Wing's shield. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and remember, if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.